morning. It is September 7th, Thursday, and it is 9.26 in the morning. Grab your coffee. Yeah, we need it. <laughs> we are getting around to take Timothy to class. Justin only had one day of class this week, so that's pretty exciting. So he's off again for the rest of the weekend. Okay, I need, it's 64 degrees out right now, and, but it's supposed to get in the 80s today. So I think I'm gonna start out with something a little warmer. It's fall, so you always start off with something a little warmer and then change into something cooler. Okay, I have to tell you, um, I've been complaining about allergy eyes. And I was watching a channel here on YouTube and her channel's name is Let's Cook Y'all and it's Stacy. I'll have her linked below. She was talking about having allergy eyes and her eye doctor told her to use Aloe by Bosch and Lom. Amazing. I am not even kidding you. The first time I use these, you put one drop in each eye twice a day and the first time I used them, I could tell a difference like immediately. So I am very, very, very pleased with these. So if you are having problems with allergy eyes, go grab yourself. You can get them at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, pretty much anywhere. Also, I want to um, tell you about another channel and um, her name is Kimberly Cochran. I believe that's how you say it. I'll have her channel linked below. She, um, it's very sweet and she does lots of things and they just had a grand baby in their family. I'm so excited for them. So yeah, go check out those two channels. dinner's done we are gonna have the chicken and noodles in the crock pot if you haven't tried that I will have it linked the video to it will be linked below it is so good and so easy man um let's see oh man did you see all the dishes I have to do me and the boys decided to take a bike ride and stuff last night <laughs> and then once we got out Tim was like oh I don't I don't want to go back home because I have homework to do I'm like, Timothy, so we just kept like riding through the roads. He still had his homework to do, but I ended up not doing dishes. Shame on me. So I need to do those today. Later on, maybe when I get home after dropping Tim off, I will do that. Timothy off to school so he is there for about an hour or so and um, I am headed home and I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take Jules for her walk 
because it's cooler out right now and um, it gets too hot in the afternoon still so I'm gonna go ahead and just take her I like to take her in the mornings right now when it's cooler so that's what I'm gonna do when I get home Jules <laughs> wait, wait. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, do you want to go for a walk? Okay, let's go. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for a walk. to say that it is very heavy on my heart about many of you that are preparing for the storm that is coming through Florida and that whole entire coast of South Carolina, North Carolina, all of that. I had talked to some and you are preparing for it. Some of you are looking to have to evacuate and I just want you to know that you are in my thoughts, you are in my prayers please stay safe. I cannot imagine what you are going through. I have never been through a hurricane before, so I can't even imagine. But just know that you are in my thoughts and in my prayers. Yesterday, me and Timothy got the bins down out of the attic for my fall decorations. I was going to do it last week and ran out of time last week, never got to it, but we got to it yesterday, so I'm pretty excited about it. I am so excited to be getting fall out. Oh my goodness. I love the colors of orange, red, and yellow through the house. It just warms up the house. Okay, let's get busy decorating. discovered I need to clean uh, my kitchen I mean seriously how often do you get up here at the top of your cabinets and check it out it's really gross but I'm gonna go ahead and keep decorating and I will I will clean this another day
the boys ran to town really quickly. Justin had a um, package that he needed to send out. That child can turn a profit. I am telling you what, I am so impressed by the way he watches things and sees what is hot, like going hot right now, like on eBay and stuff. And then if he finds it cheap, he buys it, like a couple of them, and then he will put it on eBay and then he sells it. And the one item he sold, he doubled his money and um, he had sold it within like just hours of putting it on. It's, it's amazing to watch him do that. I told him, I'm like, you need to get into like the stocks, you know, like stocks and stuff like that and the um, stock market and, and do stuff like that because that's just, that's amazing to me to be able to, you know, know what's out there and then be able to actually make something on it. I think that's awesome. I have about, about a half an hour, and Jason's going to be heading home from work, so he'll be calling me, and um, I have about that time, and I'm going to be shredding the chicken up for the chicken noodle crock pot, and then I'll be adding the noodles to that and getting that finished up. So that is what I am doing right now at this time of my day. I just got a phone call from Justin and Timothy that Justin's car is on fire and I'm trying to calm down but I am on my way a cop is there and I heard the sirens right away and he called me and he was like mom he goes my the car's not moving I'm like okay and he goes it's really smoking a lot and I'm like well can you get pulled over you know and then shut it off and he was like no it stopped moving mom it's really smoking a lot should we get out and I said yes get out and then he said oh my gosh it's on fire and I was like get out get out get out get out <sighs> so I am on my way there and I said and he come back on I kept going hello 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 and he was like mom and I said are you out of the car and he said yes we are out of the car and I said call 911 and he said mom there's already a cop right here <sighs> thank the Lord for that I'm heading there and I will keep you posted on what's going on oh my goodness I'll tell you that's a fear okay we are home oh my goodness that was so scary I'll start inserting pictures and show you how bad it was I believe that car is pretty much totaled. I think that it's just gone. I mean, the whole entire undercarriage is melted. The tires were not turning when the um, when it was being put onto the wrecker. A police officer was across the street at the stoplight when the car started burning. Thank God, thank God, because that fast response, she quickly called into the fire department. The fire department wasn't too far down the road for their fire station. They were there immediately. Um, the cops started um, directing traffic, took complete you know, control over it. The boys got out um, and the fireman said, you know, he said it could have been so much more worse. But that car is, it's melted. That heat of that fire was horrible. So Jason took tomorrow off and we are going to be getting a hold of our insurance. We're probably going to have to get a police report and start that kind of a process for it. But I will keep you all posted. But I just, I cannot thank God enough for keeping Justin and Timothy safe. Okay, the four of us are headed out for a walk because we need to walk off some stress. <laughs> so that is what we are gonna do. I am going to go ahead and I am going to close this day in the life. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you Monday. Happy Friday, bye.